Military operations on urban terrain or mount training doesn't get much more miserable than this. But it's this added water obstacle that can really help soldiers master the mount skills. Skills that could ultimately save their life and their battle buddies' lives. We're training as, as uh, what these soldiers actually encountered if they were downrange. And we put a lot into this from the, the planning aspect as far as trying to make the training as realistic as possible. Even with less than favorable conditions, soldiers still found ways to stay motivated. The energy, the, the teamwork that you get just when you're clearing the rooms, it's amazing. Uh, just overall, it's uh, generally the rush. You never know what's going to happen when you go in that building. From today, I'm looking for the basics because there it's going to be a lot of what ifs. So what if this happens, what if this happens, but today if I have a, gr a good ground basis to go off of, then I can, I'll be able to make those decisions later on. Basically what, what the Army says, you know, you train in time of peace to prepare for war. Um, I'm preparing for combat. I don't know, maybe tomorrow I'll get deployed, so I'm going to take what I learned today and, and use it for the future. Turning this dreary day into an unforgettable day. Specialist Richard Fink, Wackernheim, Germany.